Just did some testing. Uh, I took some footage. I'll see if I can put it before or after the video. Of a pipe that I got fairly cheap. Pretty nice pipe. I tried it as it is. This is a 30 degree north pipe. And it's got a, uh, a silence to go out the back, which is still on the truck. Looks pretty cool. But I must say that that silence is heavy as. Oh, I don't know if it def sort of defeats the purpose of having a pipe if it's heavy and dragging it. So so what I did do, like, I tested it as is. It was really loud. Um, couldn't even see any performance increases just with this pipe, which I was surprised at. Uh, and then I hooked up the silencer, which made it quieter. A lot quieter. Quieter than the can, actually. But down low was still still no good. So I put the can back on. You know what? It is the best one there. It picks up so much quicker with that can on it. Oh. It goes to show you, you know, I don't know what these high-performance pipes are like, but that can just, it'll pick up straight up. Whereas with the pipe, with or without the silencer, um, it just dragged. It just took a while for it to, to get to speed. So, back with a can. And I only got this pipe because it was extremely cheap, second hand. Uh, I did say I was going to keep this stock. So, if, unless it's like real cheap, nearly free sort of cheap, I'm not going to go there. And part of the lot was a nice little cap there. That spring should be alright. Nice, nice and tight seal. I did notice if you over tighten it, there's an O-ring in there that sort of goes a bit funny. Alright, that's alright. Done. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, she's good to go for the moment. Uh, part of the deal, I don't know if I'll fit it, and I should, is uh, got a stack, pretty good filter. I might actually fit it because these are a better filter. They just seal better. They seal better than the, the stock units. So I might, might fit that up. And, um, Yeah, so here we go. All right. So, part of the lot was this uh, air filter. So I fitted that, there's a little stack so it can fit. Uh, when you look at, look at all the parts of the stock one. Like the stock one's all right. I've actually put a, in the past, a better filter in here and it's been okay like a TG1 or something or whatever. It was a three, a three stage as well, but there's just so many parts. Like, whereas this one, you just, you unscrew it, bang, done. Less likely to have um, crap going in there as well. It's a lot better. So, and I've already got, um, the outerwear for it, which will fit. Another thing with the outerwear, with the stock stuff, if you can see, it was starting, starting to rip because these stupid body clips that you got to put on the outside to hold this thing. You know, and then the body clips rub up against your your thirty to forty dollar bloody outerwear, and then it's ruined in no time. So that was another reason why I got rid of it. Um, yeah. But, you know, I wasn't in, intending on buying this stuff. Um, I've got a few things in this lot. Sold the rest. But that pipe, after just testing it, well, I'm shocked. I have been told that these cans are, have got really good down-low power, like good torque. 
and I've got to agree with him like it gets up and goes straight away whereas with the other pipe I was thinking about it no I don't want that I don't want that at all so there you go so that's it for the moment um, what I did do for the pull start is I made these bolts longer so they're easy to get to if I need to put get the pull start off on both sides because that's a pain that's a little mod I did um, that's probably about it all good to go now ready for bash day all right so I spent a bit of time on this body this body was not in good condition over here it was all broken uh, so I got a I got some gorilla tape initially I put some plastic brackets that I cut out sort of bent in the shape then I riveted it in there because there's pieces of plastic missing so there and and this piece here at the back that was all broken from the previous owner um, so I sort of sort of made up some brackets as you can see you can see a little bit a little bit of the, one of the brackets there just so I can um, renew a hole for the body because there was nothing there then I put some Gorilla Tape I started gluing it but it was real messy so bracket up here, bracket down there um, Gorilla Tape all over the place seems pretty solid We'll see how long it lasts and um, where there wasn't any cracks or damage I put two layers of Gorilla Tape now I'll show you some pictures of what I did it's pretty much put one layer snipped four points so it's easier to go around this molded area pushed it in get all the air out and put another layer So two layers, I pretty much did that everywhere, but the, the rear, these rear panels don't really take much hiding. Um, but the bonnet, the roof, uh, they take a bit, and the sides, these are just the worst. So I should put some, um, some tape here just to strengthen up a little bit maybe, might do that. But yeah. It's all coming along. It's all good. So there we have it. Gonna try and get this body to last, you know. Uh, put some tape there. Some tape there. Just squeeze it together, all the screws. Two layers pretty much, top and bottom. So should last a bit longer. We'll see how we go. Worst case scenario here, I was thinking, if this keeps breaking, I can, a lot of people have cut this off, just this section off, it, take the rear off, cut the section off here, it's a different look, something to think about for maybe later on, so there we have it, alright, that's it for me for the moment, and uh, catch us next time, see us.